Hello everyone, welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will discuss infinite geometric series. It is the sum of the terms of infinite geometric sequence. It is also known as sum to infinity. We will derive the formula in finding the sum of the terms of infinite geometric sequence and we will give examples. Sum to infinity is denoted by this symbol. We can find the sum to infinity if and only if the absolute value of the common ratio is less than 1. Let us derive the formula. If a sub 1 is the first term and r is the common ratio, sum to infinity is equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 1 times r plus a sub 1 times r squared plus a sub 1 times r cubed and the pattern continues without end. Let us multiply this equation by the common ratio. Sum to infinity multiplied by r is equal to r times sum to infinity. a sub 1 multiplied by r is equal to a sub 1 times r. a sub 1 times r multiplied by r is equal to a sub 1 times r squared. a sub 1 times r squared multiplied by r is equal to a sub 1 times r cubed. a sub 1 times r cubed multiplied by r, the answer is a sub 1 r raised to 4, and the pattern continues without end. Let us subtract these two equations. On the left side of the equation, we have sum to infinity minus r times sum to infinity. If we subtract a sub 1 times r and a sub 1 times r, the answer is equal to 0. a sub 1 times r squared minus a sub 1 times r squared, the answer is equal to 0. a sub 1 times r cubed minus a sub 1 times r cubed, the answer is also equal to 0. Every other term is equal to 0. And since the pattern continues without end, we are left with the first term or a sub 1 on the right side of the equation. Let us simplify. Let us factor out sum to infinity on the left side of the equation, and we are left with 1 minus r. Sum to infinity times quantity 1 minus r is equal to a sub 1. To solve for sum to infinity, we need to divide both sides by 1 minus r. Sum to infinity times quantity 1 minus r divided by 1 minus r the answer is equal to sum to infinity, and it is equal to a sub 1 over 1 minus r. This is the formula in finding the sum of the terms of infinite geometric sequence. Let us have example. Let us find the sum of the terms of infinite geometric sequence 36, 12, 4, and so on. Let us find the common ratio by dividing any term by its preceding term. 12 divided by 36, the answer is equal to 1 third. The absolute value of 1 third is less than 1. Since the absolute value of r is less than 1, we can find the sum. Let us use the formula, and we have sum to infinity is equal to a sub 1 is 36 divided by 1 minus r is equal to 1 third. Let us simplify. Sum to infinity is equal to 36 divided by 1 minus 1 third is equal to 2 thirds. 36 divided by 2 thirds is also equal to 36 times the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 halves. 36 times 3 halves is equal to 108 divided by 2. 108 divided by 2 is equal to 54. And 54 is the sum of infinite geometric sequence 36, 12, 4, and so on. Another example, we have 3, 6, 12, 24, and so on. Let us find the sum if the sum exists. Let us divide any term by its preceding term to determine the common ratio. 
6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. The absolute value of 2 is not less than 1. Therefore, the sum does not exist. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.